Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I go about adjusting a design that I want to digitize, but it is a little bit too complex or, you know, there's lots of different reasons why some designs don't work out in the software, but this is the design that we're going to be looking at today. And it's just a sweet little logo that was made in Canva. If you've never used Canva before, definitely check it out. It is very beneficial. I use it every single day. It's awesome. But in this instance, the, um, the leaves and the flowers, they're all too blurry as you can see. And it just, once I put it in the software, it is not gonna work. It's just gonna be a blob of color that is not going to transfer well once it's digitized. So I decided to go into Canva and create something a little bit simpler. So this is what I came up with. I basically just copied the name that was in the original design. And here I have a similar border, but a little bit simple, a little bit simpler because it's just one thread color rather than a whole bunch of different colors going on, as you can see. So now I can bring this into the software and I think it will go over a lot easier. So now I'm just going to show you how I go about digitizing things like this. This is a pretty beginner friendly design. I would say all you're going to need to do is use the click to fill button underneath the auto digitizing tab right over here on the left hand side. And then you're going to click on the design and give it a second to detect how many colors are in the design. And as you can see, the software decided that there are only two colors, which I agree with. I think that's pretty valid. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And if you did not notice, some of the elements of the design changed a little bit. So I can use the undo button so you can see it a little bit clearer. As you can see, little details in the E, little details in the flower have been changed, but that is okay. I really don't mind. I don't, I hope that my customer will not mind. And I do think it is pretty minor. So I'm just gonna go with it. And now I'm gonna click select over here and it's gonna select the image that I brought into the software. And now I'm just gonna go on to the left-hand side with all of the options, and I'm gonna click on the auto digitizing bar, and it's gonna drag down a whole bunch of different options for me to choose from. And the first two ones are what we're gonna be looking at here. If you click on the first one here, it's going to digitize the design completely on its own without you saying anything. So here we go, I can show that to you right now doesn't take too long it takes a couple of seconds but it is not the best course of action in my opinion to go about digitizing it so i'm gonna delete it and then i'm gonna click on the image again and do the same thing but on the second one and i'm gonna make sure that the white is omitted because we don't need that we just need the black and i'm gonna press ok and as you can see, it basically looks pretty similar. I'm gonna click on the flower and change that to be satin because I think that will make it look a lot neater. And you can even click on it and click on smooth shapes, reduce the node count a little bit. You can go in manually in the reshape options and manually adjust the node count as well, which can be very beneficial to the design overall. And here is the design inside of the preview this is what we're working with i am a little bit biased but i will say that i think it's pretty stinking cute and this is the perfect size for something in the four by four hoop if you're doing something on a toddler shirt i think this would be perfect or maybe even a pocket i think this would be great now if you were doing something in the five by seven hoop this is when you would want to adjust the file and change the size so the height would want to be 4.850 because that's the height of the hoop whereas the width is seven but if you continue with the width to be seven put it there the height is also going to be seven and that's not going to work because the height of the hoop is not seven the width is so in this case, the height is better off just being 4.850. That way the design can be, you know, noticed by the machine and it'll be accepted by the machine. So 
that is basically a crash course in how to digitize your own logo. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Send me a message on Etsy if you'd like me to digitize your very own logo or send me a request on the one-on-one -on -one website if you would like to meet and we can do a little bit of one-on-one -on -one and talk about embroidery and digitizing and kind of just go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.